Morning viewers. Morning viewers. Just a small job this morning. What are we doing darling? Uh, we're going to go and get the rams in and drench them and just check them for fly strike if they've been fighting. So that's the plan. So we have to drench them because about four weeks ago the uh, worm count was about 460 uh, and yesterday when you checked them it was 1500 so right. yep. they've got over the treatment level fairly quickly. Uh, they're not all barber's pole though as far as you can tell sweet. The but, eggs were different? Yeah no, they looked like a bit of everything so and they haven't had to drench for about or 16 months probably, well over a year. They've just had the Barbavax program running, but um, the whole place has gone a bit wormy about three or four weeks ago. I think you probably might have heard us say on one of the previous videos. So it's not unusual for this to happen to the ram. So I was sort of watching for it. So that's today's job. So it'll be a quick job. There's only 12 of them. Um, but anyway, we'll crack on and get that done. Here we go. So here they all are. It's a pretty wet, dull old day. Hello, what's wrong with that fella? Bit of a limp. Got one with a limp there. That's Dave off to the one that we fixed up is off. To, anyway, we'll have a look when we get him in. That is Dave, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's Dave. Oh, it is Dave. Yeah. So the one with the limp is the one that we fixed up earlier. Um, he'll always have a limp. He's recovered remarkably well actually. Picked up a bit. So they're in pretty good nick. Um, when the wool's wet like that and it's always, they always look a bit sort of how you're going, but anyway, that's all right. Good on you, Dave. Yeah, no, I've led the weight. So our neighbours, beautiful Angus cows, have come to have a look at what's going on. Look at them, they look really good, aren't they? In good order, these heifers. So these are actually cattle yards, but we put a, a rail in down the bottom so that we could also put sheep in there as well. Uh, and for small mobs like this. And it gives us a set of yards on this side of the creek, which is quite handy. Dave's very good at leading the way. Yeah, he knows the way. Yeah, he does. Right. They never look good when their wool's like that, do they? No. It look like there's any pole strike or not, this one? I can't see any. No. Yeah, that one looks, that's Dave, isn't it? He's a bit matted around the head, but he yeah, should be right. Yeah, he is a bit. Come on. Oh, you've been fighting on your nose, Dave. You've got a big cut on it, eh? It's a tough life being back out, being a ram, isn't it? Come on. So they're only about two and a half, two and a half to three condition score, so. The worms have probably got something to do with yeah, it too. Yeah, that's right. Are you drenching or are I drenching? Oh, I'll drench them. Yeah. Just, um, have a look at some of this wool. Unfortunately, we can't claim credit for that wool, can we? <laughs> no. Still. It was. Uh, we did Dave, Dave select and, the ram, so Dave I guess and Angie. We, yep. I guess we. Um, this is nice, dense fella. This fella. It's very dense. Yeah. yeah. It's not quite as dense, but it's still nice. It's a bit hard with uh, the wet wool. Yeah. It's a bit shorter this one too. Uh, this lovely crimp there. It's very well defined crimp, isn't it? It's beautiful. Mm, soft too. This one's a bit harsher. Actually the green are the new ones, not the purple. That's quite short that yeah. too. 
That's an old, definitely yeah, an oldie. Fair, fair old. This is a new one. So we've already calibrated the drench car and we're giving them 18 mils of Avamec Jewel. Might give those guys a... Could be, could be a bit of strike in there. Is it? Mm. It's a bit moist. Well, it's been raining too. Yeah, I know, but it's kind of different moist. Mm. Does it smell? Have that smell? Hold mm. your fingers to your nose, have a look smell. Mm. Uh, just give it a... I'll give it a bit of... We'll put a bit of stuff on and then click it. Yep. <laughs> Steady on, old fella. Steady on, old fella. So there's a mixture of pole and skur and horn rams. We don't really care whether they've uh, got horns or holly or not. It's more about the wool quality and the confirmation and the size, wool cut. Holes are a little bit more easy to handle, I think. So. Yeah, yeah, the weather's the weather's yeah. certainly easier to handle. The only the only problem with poles is that if you've got a stag, it's hard to recognise it. Got his horn caught. <laughs> These are not been very cooperative. These ones, no. the back ones, are pretty good. Right. Good job. Exactly. <laughs> Just trying to see if I can get a look at Dave's deformed foot here. We managed. So his foot's quite deformed. Um, it is growing again, but um, he'll always have a limp. Uh, but anyway, he might be able to service 20 or 30 uh, ewes, so that would be good. So the job's done, we'll let them out and they can run in the lane for a few days and then we'll take them across the river and put them in a paddock ready for crutching. Alrighty, the job's done. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed this short video. Thanks for watching.